welcome back to the channel y'all it's a girl aisha in case you forgot because it's been a minute <laughs> it's been a minute since i like sat down and talked to y'all like face to face so here we are we're gonna do a little old-fashioned get ready with me because it's officially summer the day that i'm filming this i believe it is like the first day of summer or maybe yesterday was i can't exactly remember but it is officially summer and i wanted to basically share like what my everyday makeup routine has been because I do still get questions about it, even though I low-key feel like I do the exact same makeup look every single day, but I do kind of switch up the products a little bit. So I wanted to show you guys, share it with you all, share it with you guys, <laughs> what I've been doing recently and kind of like the tips and tricks I have, what products I've switched out, etc. Right now I'm just applying my sunscreen. I don't think I've talked about this on camera yet. It's uh, the Supergoop Glow Screen. Y'all, they finally came out with a shade that is like literal perfection on my skin tone. It looks so good. This is the shade Sunset. I talked about it when it first came out on TikTok and it kind of went viral. And so many of you guys picked it up and told me you guys are enjoying it as well. But this has been like one of my favorite products of the summer, seriously. I mean, this came out, I, I first used it in like the spring technically, but it has quickly become like one of my top favorite products. And shout out to Supergoop, shout out to my family at Supergoop for sponsoring a portion of today's video because they actually came out with lip products, which they've had like little lip balms and stuff in the past, but these are like actual like lipsticks that are so gorgeous and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. We just finished blending in the glow screen. Look how pretty my skin looks. Like I literally didn't even put on foundation or anything. That's what I like about this because even on days, especially when I was in like Europe and stuff, even on days when I don't want to wear a lot of foundation or foundation at all, like it literally just evens out my skin tone while also giving me sun protection. So I love that for me. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um, it's about these babies and you may have already seen them on my Instagram and my no, I didn't post them on TikTok, but on my Instagram. But these are the new Super Goop lip shades, and these have SPF 30. It's completely mineral as well, 100%. And they come in like the prettiest shades. I did like a full lip swatch video on my Instagram, so if y'all want to see that, I'll probably have a little, little teaser bit over here. But definitely make sure you're following me on um, Instagram so you can see the real deal first. But they come in these gorgeous colors, so I'm probably going to use like one of them today and I low-key kind of also want to like try it out on my cheek. I saw, I saw someone um, use it as like kind of like a cheek blush and I'm like that's kind of genius because you also get SPF coverage, like added SPF coverage. But anyways, I'm gonna share that later obviously. Let's get into this beat real quick. So I just primed, I already had SPF on earlier so I just basically just reapplied this. I like to use this as a makeup primer um, or like I mentioned, use it without makeup when I just want like quick, easy, like no makeup day. And then y'all know I'm a brows before makeup type girl. So I actually just recently got this. So like, this is like a new product. I actually didn't really use this in Europe. I tried it for the first time like two days ago and I'm obsessed, but it is by Dominique Cosmetics and it's their new clear brow gel. And it's so bomb. It's so bomb. So it's by Kristen Dominique. So you gotta support fellow content creators over here, but I'm just gonna, what I've basically been doing, I have a whole brow routine on my TikTok, but what I basically do is always go in with a clear brow gel first, the one that I was actually using every day and what I still really like, I still use in my everyday routine, is the Sephora collection one. This is so fire. They like reformulated their brow gel and like switched up the brush and everything and it's so bomb and it's only $12 so y'all can get that for sure but I just want to use this because it's new and you know I'm just kind of like I'm feeling it right now but I brush up my brow hairs like that to look kind of crazy I get a lot of questions about whether I laminate my brows or not I have never laminated my brows I just naturally have very like fine brow hairs I do have a lot of them but they are very fine so like if I put on a brow gel or like honestly even just a serum or moisturizer and I like go like this like I press my brows they're gonna be stuck to my face just as if they were like laminated so I guess it's a good thing sometimes it's annoying because I'm like I don't want big full bushy brows but I guess lamination is in now so this product literally makes your your eyebrows look laminated so anyways, I'm kind of in a chatty mood today because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. 
But I'm gonna quickly just do my brows. Like I said, I have a whole brow routine. This isn't really what I usually do, so if you guys wanna see that, then I will link it down below. But I'm just kinda like playing around with these new products right now, so. I just go in with a little brow gel, a little brow pencil, sometimes like a colored brow gel for like extra fluff. Okay, the brows are done. They're actually looking very much perfect right now. I'm very impressed with myself. Sometimes like when my brows come out really nice, like it just, I just know it's gonna be a good day because lately I have not been having good brow days. Like this brow has just been misbehaving, but today she were cool. <laughs> uh, this product got me through the European summer, okay? Cause it was real hot at some points. And this, I just apply like right in the T-zone just to make sure like my pores are good, you know? I don't really have really pronounced pores or anything. You know, sometimes when it gets hot, they can definitely become more pronounced. So I know I already have like a super good primer on, but I'm gonna put this kind of like right in the center. And this will really help the longevity of your makeup as well. I've been using this for a couple months now and I really, really like it. It's like a smoothing primer as well. So if you do have like enlarged pores or oily skin or textured skin, this will really just help smooth everything out. I don't think I mentioned what it is, but it's the KBD Beauty Pore Refining Primer. It's also kind of cooling. It feels like cooling on the face, which I like. I think by the time you guys are seeing this video, I posted my London and my Paris vlog, hopefully. So I hope you guys have been enjoying all of that content. We still have the Spain vlog to come, which I think might be the most exciting part. Although I do feel like, I haven't looked over the footage, but I feel like by the time I got to Spain, I was so over vlogging. Like I just wanted to enjoy the moment. So I feel like I probably wasn't talking a lot in that, but I'm hoping that I can salvage some content. So we shall see. Anyways, that's what my, I'm gonna just zoom you guys in for the rest of this tutorial so you can see my makeup better, but there we go. That's what the skin is looking like. So very nicely prepped. I did my skincare earlier in the day too. Also, I wanna run an idea by you guys if you would be interested, because I get so many questions about like my skincare, what I do for my skin, etc. But truly every single day is so different. And I saw Elia's face. Um, she did like a week of skincare in my life, like a week in my life, but like all skincare. So she showed her morning. I actually didn't watch the full video, but I believe she showed her like morning and nighttime skincare every single day for a full week. And I think that's kind of genius. Cause like I use different products for different days. And I think that'd be like a really great way for you guys to see what I actually use and do like a non-sponsored version. So I'm gonna see if I can do that real soon and post that for you guys, but my skincare been loving it lately. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with foundation now. The only foundation that I brought with me on my trip, which is a big deal, it's a very big deal, because I was gone for a full month, it was this. Ami Kole Skin Enhancing Tint. This is the only thing I brought to the wedding in Toronto, to London, to Paris, to Spain, everything. So I've been going two years strong with this baby, and um, I use the shade Deep Two. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful product. I don't know why it's not focusing, but I use the shade Deep Two. I'm just gonna put a little bit on this thing over here that I have, and it's just amazing. It truly is the best like skin product that I've used in so many years, which is why I keep going back to it. And I mean, also I love the founder. Shout out to Giara. She's amazing. She's Muslim. She's Senegalese. Black Muslim owned. Love that. So you know, I have to support, but also the products are just bomb. So very, very happy about that. Also, they're in Sephora now. So definitely check them out. And speaking of Sephora, guys, I made the Sephora squad for 2023 which is like super, super exciting. I had actually applied for Sephora Squad a couple years ago, um, not realizing that I actually couldn't get accepted into the Sephora Squad because I was part of the Sephora Collection Squad, which is called like Troop SC. Sorry, I'm just looking for a brush right now to use. Um, anyways, I applied this year and you guys left amazing testimonials, which I'm so thankful for and I made it into the Sephora squad, which is so exciting. And basically, I feel like a lot of people don't really know what that means. <laughs> For a while, I didn't really even know what it means, but basically it just means it's like an exclusive year-long contract with Sephora where you, you know, they give you obviously a budget um, and they pay you out to be like their ambassador for the year. 
and you get to work on like different projects. It's basically like, obviously I work with Sephora a lot and like a lot of products at Sephora, but this is like a guaranteed like rate that they will give you. And then like, you're just, I don't know, it's just like a cool thing. And they always like reach out to you for certain events to represent Sephora and all of that. And I think it just like is the most fitting partnership for me because I have been chatting about Sephora for years. Like I just, I love Sephora. So <laughs> I just feel like it's the most fitting partnership for me. And I'm very, very excited to be in the Sephora squad this year. So you guys will be seeing a lot of Sephora content. Sorry, I'm just wetting my beauty blender. Do you guys see how like beautiful my skin looks right now? The reason why I only took this one product is because A, it just looks like skin. Like it honestly is like super breathable. It's clean ingredients as well, which is super important to me. And the finish is just so beautiful. Like it leaves such a skin-like glowy finish on the skin and it lasts all day, which is obviously key. So like I said, I don't like to put a lot on. I just want it to be very like skin-like. And then the concealer that I brought with me to Europe was actually this one, it's by Ami Kole, but y'all, look what happened. The top of it, the little like doe foot applicator literally snapped off. So like I can't really use this properly right now, so I'm gonna just use something similar. But this is my favorite concealer and it lasts all day, it doesn't crease, it's really really good. But for now, I'm just gonna use the Kosas concealer. It's a little bit, it's not, I wouldn't say it's similar, but it's similar in the sense that they're both like clean beauty products, so. I like that. Um, I do prefer the shade with Amicole though. And I actually wore this the other day um, on Juneteenth. There was like a block party in Lamert Park. So I wore this and it lasted all day. It did not crease. I have issues. I guess I'd be smiling too much. I'm just too happy. <laughs> Is there such thing as too happy? No. Um, but I have this thing where like, I'll get like creases right here. Cause I have like deep set under eyes. Just naturally, it's not like bags or anything or sunken under eyes, it's just always been like that. So when I smile, it's like even more pronounced and if I'm smiling a lot, I will literally get creases like this. So if my face is neutral, you'll just see these ugly ass creases and it's just, it's not pleasant. I don't, I don't like it, but this Kosas concealer didn't do that to me. I was a little worried that it might because it's like a more natural, you know, light, it's not light coverage, but it's a little bit more natural, so I was worried it was gonna do that, but it didn't, so I'm happy. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Huda Beauty concealer in the shade Praline, just to kind of like highlight a little bit as well. So I have officially been back in LA for it's like almost two weeks, and I'm like already ready to leave. <laughs> The sun finally came out this week, which has honestly been making me feel so happy, but I'm like already, by the time you guys are watching this, I might already be in Toronto or I'm about to go. I'm going to Toronto for a week and yeah. I just feel like last year I didn't like travel as much as I wanted to and this year I'm just everywhere. <laughs> I was talking to my father-in-law and he was just like talking about like how I'm always on a plane. He's like, do you not get like sick of it? And I'm like, no, honestly, I'm like the plane feels like my second home at this point. And he's like, he's like, well, what's LA then? <laughs> and I'm like, you know what, you have a good point. He's like, it's a very expensive, cra expensive crashing pad. And I'm like, you know what? You're right, you're right. I'm very blessed, obviously, and privileged to be able to like travel as much as I do and still be able to like, you know, afford living, but I just love being on the road. It's just, it's my favorite thing. So funny, every single one of my family members are on different, it, are in different countries right now. My mom is still in Europe, my brother's in Canada, my dad's in Australia, and I'm here in America. And we're literally all over the place. And that's kind of just how our family always is. <laughs> I blame my dad for my inability to stay at home because he just like always, emphasized and always encouraged us to like travel and explore, always took us on trips and stuff. And I feel like I truly just like, I became my father's daughter and I just love to do that as well. But anyways, I'm just blending out this concealer. Everything's looking so pretty. I feel like this light is like way too bright. One sec. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's go into bronzing. This bronzer, I'm not gonna lie, I was talking smack about it 
before I left on my trip because like, look how tiny this is. It's the tiniest bronzer I've ever used. It's literally the size of my finger, but it's by Freck. This one's in the shade Deep. I think one, this one's the darkest one. I can't find the one that I was usually using, but this is the only bronzer I brought with me to Europe and it's so good. It's obviously gonna show up a lot darker right now because like I said, I don't use this shade normally. I don't know where the shade that I normally use is. Like, I used it the other day and I just can't for the life of me find it anywhere. So hopefully this one isn't like too dark, but it's gonna be a little bit of a contour for me as well, I guess. But I like it because it's like so small. It's very like convenient to use because it's just, I don't know, just fits so nicely in the hand. So honestly, I didn't really wear makeup that much while I was in Europe. Like I said, I would wear like my glow screen sometimes and just do like, I need to do another tutorial, but <laughs> when my husband calls Alicia Keys makeup, like anytime we're in a rush and, and I wanna put on makeup, he's like, can you just do Alicia Keys makeup? Like it's like his thing. Maybe I'll do it for TikTok or something and have him narrate it. <laughs> What he means by that is there's this specific Keys Soul Care, like Alicia Keys brand uh, blush that I always use. And anytime I use this, he knows which blush I'm wearing because he really, really likes it. It's just a very natural like, flush to the cheeks. So that's kind of like the makeup that I was doing. It was just like a little bit of sunscreen, some of that Keys Soul Care blush, and then like I just curled my lashes and like put on like a gloss or something. Um, or like a tinted lip balm, kind of like the super goop one that I'm going to show you guys in a sec. And like that would be my main look, but then anytime that I was actually wearing makeup, which I had, I did do a couple like get ready with me's um, while I was there. So anytime that I was doing those makeup, this is like basically what I was doing. I'll have to show you guys the Alicia Keys makeup <laughs> one of these days though. Okay, the bronzer was a little bit more cool toned than I had hoped, but it'll do for now. I kind of want to use one of the super goop lip shades on my cheek so this is the shade obsessed and these colors are like they're not just like spf lip balms they're actual like a lot of color payoff in it so i really like it i'm just gonna do a couple little streaks on my cheek over here this blush is like super super pretty this shade is like super super pretty i feel like it'll match with the vibes today but do you see how like how gorgeous is that? Super goop, I'm gonna need y'all to make these into blush too. Like little pot blushes or like, yeah, little pot blushes that have SPF in them. I feel like that would be so perfect. Especially cause like those are the areas people get burnt a lot, you know, like the cheeks, the nose, the temples. You can just apply this and now you have some mineral sunscreen to protect you. And also some pretty color, hello, hit me up super goop. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Huda Beauty Concealer. I need y'all to pay attention over here, okay? If you have an issue with powders in the summertime, like powders not absorbing the oil or not just giving, you know, especially when it comes to your makeup, get this right here. I need to buy the full size because this is my little travel size, but this is the one size translucent powder. Y'all, the way, I just bought this on a whim while I was in Toronto because I needed some kind of like powder to take with me to like on my trip and I just bought this one because I was like I feel like I've heard people talk about it but I'm not really sure I was using the Laura Mercier one for a while but this one size powder y'all is so fire like it's probably the best powder best setting powder out there and like it makes sense because it's Patrick Starr you know he would definitely know about his powders <laughs> because he'd be going in with his powders but this oh, it's just so good also I saw that they came out with a pink powder so I really, really want to order that and try it out. But I kind of go heavy with this because like I said, I have that issue with my under eyes that just like they crease so, like just, they don't even crease in the part, the area that like a lot of people crease, they crease in the worst way. It just makes me look way older. It really ages me because like the lines, like it just, it's so pronounced. So I put on quite a lot as you can see. But I promise you, it'll still look skin-like by the time I'm done with this. And I like to press this in with a brush. This one's by Sephora Collection. And then I'm also going to put it on my T-zone. So I like to put it in between my brows. Low-key like through my brows because my brows get sweaty sometimes. Especially in the summer. And then I also take it on a beauty blender. This is how I snatch my nose up. Just like that. And I feel like it just like creates a better contour for my nose. 
And then I just kind of let that marinate a little bit. I don't like brush it off or try to blend it in or anything, but I do take like my face powder. And I just take like a big fluffy brush and I just tap it on the outer perimeter of my face. I don't like swipe, I kind of just like tap it in. Just like that. And now my entire face is set. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer just because I feel like that contour, that shade was a little bit more like darker than what I normally go with. So I just wanna like give some more warmth to my face as you can see that just like made such a huge difference. The one that I took with me was the Hoola um, Toasted Bronzer, but right now I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury one because I really like the red tones of this. Like it's like really, really red. So it kind of just makes me look like really warm. Patrick Talk came out with this like nose contour brush, which is genius. So I'm gonna use like the fluffy brush side and also run that down the sides of my nose. See how snatched that just made my nose look? Love it. For the eyes, this is the only thing that I really used on them while I was away. This is by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, kind of random, I know. But it's their matte liquid shadow. And this is the shade on to the next. And it's basically like a cream to powder product. So I just like apply this straight onto my eye like that. And then I just take my finger and blend it out. This is literally it. It's the easiest eyeshadow. I like start with my finger and then I also go in with a brush because by the time this is like blended out, by then it's kind of like powdery so you can go in with like a blending brush and just finish the job. But I like this because it's just kind of like a very neutral, mauve like brown shade and it just like, I don't know, it's just like, a, it's, it's really pretty on the eyes. It like makes my brown eyes pop I feel like because it has like a tint of purple in it and I feel like purple with brown eyes, it really makes the brown in your eyes pop. So that's just a little tip. I don't really know how much this product is, but there's so much stuff in here. Like it's just so easy for travel. You just throw it in. You don't have to worry about bringing a whole like eyeshadow palette. And it's super easy and like you don't really know. You don't need to have any skill with eyeshadow to apply this. Like you literally just smudge it around. By the way, this brush is by Sephora Collection as well. Actually, all of the like gray tip brushes that I've been using, they're all by Sephora Collection. They come in like a really inexpensive um, set, so I'll link that below. Okay, so I already applied a little bit of blush, but I kind of want to like emphasize that color slightly. I got these new blushes from House Labs, and this color is stunning. It's the shade. Watermelon Bliss. I find it is quite similar to the Super Gift shade that I use, so I think I'm going to apply this. I'm just gonna use a little because this is like super pigmented, but it's so pretty. House Love like really made a comeback ever since they like separated from Amazon. That is looking lovely, absolutely stunning. Um, sad news in the Aisha Haroon household. Um, my favorite face powder completely shattered on me. This is like my Facetune in a container bottle, <laughs> or Facetune in a container product. When I apply this under my eyes, like, it just, it's magical, honestly, what happens. But anyways, I got back and it completely smushed. So I'm waiting on a new one, but they look reformulated, so I'm worried it's not gonna be the same. But we'll see, when I get that, I'll probably do a TikTok or something on it comparing it because this has been my love since 2020. Anyways, I'm just going to try and salvage this for what it is and just <laughs> dip my brush in there. I like to use this after blush just to make sure all those edges are softened. This is the step where I do my setting spray. This is the one I brought with me on my trip. It's the Airbrush Flawless um, Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. This one's completely almost finished. But I want to show you one that will literally, if you have an issue with your makeup sweating off in the summer, because obviously it gets very hot and humid, the product I use next is what y'all need, but one sec. I just have a lot of powders on my face right now, and I like a non-powdery makeup look, so I'm going to apply this first, and then apply the one that actually like helps my makeup last. Okay, I'm gonna let that marinate a little bit. While I do that, this is the mascara 
that I wore basically every single day of my trip and it's so bomb. Um, the other mascara that I also recommend for the summer, especially if you have an issue with like transferring, um, this waterproof mascara by MAC, it is a little bit hard to get off, I'm not gonna lie. You can take it off with like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, um, but it's the stack. I'm actually gonna use this one today. But the reason why I like this is it holds a good curl. Like, I'm still gonna curl my lashes, but it holds a good curl and it's waterproof so it doesn't transfer as easy. But this specifically, the MAC Stack Waterproof, I swear it's different formula. Well, it is a different formula. But this one works way better than the original MAC Stack in my opinion. I feel like this looks like way better. So I'll use this and then I'll use the Fenty one in conjunction with it. But I would say majority of the time I use the Fenty one. You know what, this one's kind of dry. I'm just going with Fenty. <laughs> this is the Fenty Hella Thick Mascara. I like this one more than um, their original mascara. I forget what that one was called, but this one is better in my opinion. That's what the lashes are looking like. Super pretty. Do you guys see how pretty those mascaras are together? They're gorgeous. I am a firm believer of one mascara is never enough. You need two to get like the best results. In my case, you need three though, because I use a brown mascara on my lower lash line. So I am going to use this one. This one is by um, L'Oreal. Rub that against my lower lash line. Okay, this is how I kind of get like the glow back into my skin. I'm gonna take a uh, cream blush. In this case, I'm just gonna use the super good one since it's right beside me and I really like that this has like a sheen to it. So I just put it on the back of my hand and then I take my beauty blender, I kind of scoop that up, saturate it, and then I like very gently tap that along my cheeks and I find that it just makes me look less powdery. Like it just adds like a really pretty, like healthy, not even like glow, but it just adds like a little bit more color obviously, but just like, I don't know, takes off a little bit of that like powdery feel. Okay, I might have done a little bit too much. I forget how pigmented <laughs> this lipstick is, okay. And then y'all know the drill. You know that I love my Westman Atelier little highlight stick in the shade Brulee. So I take that on my beauty blender. I don't like putting it like directly on here by the way because I find like my foundation will lift or like it'll just leave some marks on there. So I just put it on my beauty blender first and then very gently apply that kind of like on my cheekbones as, that, as well as a little bit on my actual cheeks like where the blush is. And that way wherever I turn you see a glow, but it's not like, everywhere else is still kind of like a little bit more matte. And then what I was saying earlier was the product that literally, it's like waterproof essentially, but it's the On Till Dawn One Size Spray. I used this when I was in Toronto because Sada bought it and for the wedding. And our makeup did not budge all night, like literally all night. So I'm gonna just give myself a nice little spray of this. I'm not gonna put too much on because I don't want my face to look too matte today, but this is a mattifying setting spray, but it, it does make your face waterproof. And that just like kind of seals my makeup in for a hot summer day. So definitely a must have for the summer. Now onto the lips. I'm gonna just take MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and just very softly redefine the outer corners of my lips and i don't want this to like be apparent or anything i just like a little bit of definition i think what i'm gonna do today is lucky me though because this one is like a really pretty like my lips but better shade but i'll show you guys all of them oh actually i might do high five but this is the shade high five super super pretty it's kind of like a peachy nude a bright peachy nude this is the shade Obsessed, which is the one that I wore on my cheeks today. So pretty. This one's really, really nice for summer. It's one of my favorites for the summer. But today I'm just going to the coffee shop, so I kind of want like a little bit more of a subdued lip. This is the shade Lucky Me, which is like kind of like a pinky shade. All of these are super, super pigmented though, so they show up on like pigmented lips, two-toned lips, all that. And this is a gorgeous, like almost red berry shade called Love You More. And these are them. And there's also one more. It's like a Supergoop exclusive. So it's only available on supergoop.com. But this is the shade Hey Y'all. 
it's such a pretty like orangey color like look how gorgeous that is but these are the, all of them and they are 100 percent mineral sunscreen so if you guys didn't know your lips can literally get burnt <laughs> like your lips can get burnt it happens to me almost every single summer i don't know why it's really annoying actually because my lips get like super chapped from it but you have to make sure you are wearing spf coverage on your lips as well so that is a heads up but i think i'm gonna wear either lucky me or high five i think i'm gonna do high five today yeah lit our brown lip liner just to create a little bit of like an ombre is that not like so pretty well gorgeous i'm obsessed oh my god so so pretty and that's the full look i gotta take this off before <laughs> i get it like all over me but yeah i will have these linked down below in case you guys want to try it and also super groups glow screen i'm gonna have all the products i use down below but definitely y'all already know my love for super goop in the summer slash all year round but i just love that they came out with lip products so i'm waiting on those blushes though y'all i'm waiting on those blushes super goop calling you out right now but that has been my little summer makeup look lately so pretty i am genuinely obsessed with all of these products so i will link them down below let me know what you guys think and look how pretty you I'm just gonna like stare at myself for a second because I look good. I look real good. Sometimes you just gotta like take a second to really admire your beauty, you know? <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys miss these little chatty get ready with me because I wanna do them more often. I just, I feel like I'm always in a rush now. So by the time I'm like, oh, I should sit down and like film my makeup look, like I'm always like, I only have an hour to get ready and I do not have time to like set up the camera and all that. So I need to make a better effort because these used to be like the bread and butter of my channel. And I miss just like sitting and talking to you guys. Vlogs are fun. Obviously you guys enjoy like my vlogs and like seeing my life and stuff and my travels. But I really like this. I like just talking because I talk too much and sometimes I just need a little outlet to sit here for 40 minutes and talk to you guys. So Thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys try any of these products and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.